So in this video, now that you've had time to look at all the videos and choose the video that you're going to create a soundtrack for, um, this video shows you the next steps that you're going to need to take. So first of all, you are going to want to open GarageBand and open a new project. So once you have GarageBand open, um, everyone's familiar with the loop window. So if you click on loops, um, you have your list of loops and if you double click on a loop um, you can listen to it which is cool but up here next to the loop window uh, the loop button there's another button that's uh, pretty cool too uh, and this is called the media window and the thing that's cool about the media window is that we can add files our own sound files into GarageBand so uh, you're going to need to click on the media button and this window will open. You'll see right now that I have a folder in here. Uh, you're not going to have that because, but you are in just a minute. So once you have this window open, all you need to do is uh, position your GarageBand window so that you can see your desktop and you can see this folder SFX Master that we downloaded. All you have to do is click on SFX Master, drag it into the media window and drop it. And once you do that, it's going to upload that folder into GarageBand. So now if you click on um, click your down arrow here to see all the folders and if you click on the SFX master down here it's going to show you all of the sound effects that you just downloaded. And just like the loops uh, if you click on a loop you can listen to it. which is pretty cool. Now, if you don't want to see all of the sound effects at once, if you click on these folders, for example, if I click on weather, it's going to show me the sound effects that are just weather. Or if I click human sounds, it's going to show me just the human sounds. Um, so these folders kind of act like filters. And the thing that's cool about this is that once you uh, upload this folder into GarageBand, these sounds are going to stay there for any project you work on. So even if you quit this project and start a new project, if you click on the media window, media browser, uh, these files are still going to be there. Now the other thing I wanted to mention to you is that when you're thinking about maybe background music for your video, a good place to find background music is if you click on your loops and in your loops choose jingles and jingles are pretty useful because they are actually combinations of instruments that have been looped together so if you click a drum loop it's just the drums or if you click guitar it's just a guitar but jingles are kind of music that's already been put together <laughs> So the jingles have a lot of uh, great possibilities to use for background music. So now you've got your sound effects in, you've got your jingles. So the next thing to do is to actually add your video file. And again, with GarageBand, this is super easy. So if you go to your desktop and open up the folder uh, that has the video masters in it, all you have to do is click on the video that you want to use drag it into your GarageBand workspace and drop it. And once you do that, you'll see up here at the top of your GarageBand workspace that this movie track appears. And so here's the movie. You can grab the corner of it and resize it, make it smaller, make it bigger. A lot of times you're gonna want it smaller so you can see your workspace. And if you move your playhead, it's going to move to that point in the video or if you press your space bar it'll play the video just like you're playing music so now once you have your video track in there and you have your sound effects <laughs> now all you have left to do is to start creating your soundtrack and there's going to be another video 
uh, in Google Classroom that will show you how to do that. So, um, oh yeah, let me show you one more thing. So let's say you're working and you got your video window open, but you want to get it out of the way. Well, if you click this X in the upper left corner, the video goes away and you can see your workspace. And to get the video back, you may have noticed when I clicked it, it this little box appeared. So if I come up here and click on that box, then my video window shows up. So that's how you move your video window out of the way and that's how you get it back to where you want it. So anyway, that's what you need to do to get your sound effects into GarageBand and then get your video into GarageBand and you are now ready to start creating your soundtrack.